Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet and today we have uh, Isla whiskey on the cast and it, uh, that's not an Isla it's an Isle of Jura whiskey on the cast but Isle of Jura is right next to the Isle of Isla so it's it kind of is like a, the little brother of Isla so what do we have here it's a Jura heavily petered from the independent bottler signatory vintage and it's from the cask strength collection and they're always very nice they they have a, a big front label as you can see here and uh, they have their own logo and their own signature up there stamped into it with a nice brass color on top of it and then you have everything written down what is inside the bottle so it's a single malt scotch whiskey so there's only barley in it Jura 1989, so it was distilled in 1989. Uh, it's heavily peated, so we're looking at 45, 40, 50, something like that. Um, PPM, so big smoke. Distilled on the 17th of December 1989, so it's barely 1989. And bottled in on the 30th of, the, of January 2017. Matured in a bourbon barrel. Cast number 30738 bottle number 81 of 137 so there are only 137 bottles um, of these uh, of these available of this whiskey it got 56.7 percent ABV so quite quite strong whiskey and yeah so it's it's not for I would say don't give this to a beginner because if you give this to a beginner he will remember whiskey as this very strong, very smoky, very hefty substance, and they may be not into this yet. So better start with the, ooh, better start with a with a bit of a a beginner's whiskey that is a bit lighter that has some some fruity characters on it. Some of the plastic jumped on me. What is really strange for these bottles is they have such a big cork. So you have a, a cask strength bottle and then you have a very, very generous uh, hole for pouring. So that's a, the recipe for disaster. <laughs> very strong whiskey with a generous hole to pour it out from. So um, why only 137 bottles? Um, it's a bourbon barrel, so it's in... Uh, its size is limited to 200 liters or 52 gallons and then you do um, have cask strength so you don't dilute it down you don't get more whiskey than liters in the cask so that's the reason why we only have 137 bottles from this whiskey so you could actually call it a single cask whiskey as well Ooh, it's it's fresh it's got medicinal notes with a lot of herbs, like a like you know that that peppermint uh, peppermint medicine with a slight sweet tone and and some barbecue notes in it. Hmm. Also a little a little heather, a little honey. Oh, this is very complex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what else would you expect from 27 years? It's it's a very, very old whiskey with a lot of peat smoke, but the peat smoke evaporates over the years, so you don't get rid of it, but you get less of it. So the peat smoke, I expect it not to be that intense, but it's a, a fresh, herby, um medicinal smoky heathery whiskey mm. You can see it's very oily. Got quite some kick with um, with the cask swing. What was it? Fifty-seven point 
at 56.7 ABV. That's uh, 113 proof, something around that. And mm, it's fresh in the taste as well. You got citric notes, just a, a whiff of smoke. I wouldn't call it heavily peated. I would call it mm, medium peated. And it's a, it's a mixture between smoke, freshness, bit of heather, bit of oak, with almost no sweetness at all. Mm. Mm -hmm. Always, if you if you smell the second time, you have the whole whiskey around your mouth and in your in your nasal cavities, so. You do smell something different, something more. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. If you dilute it down. I might take a rain check on the on the beginner stuff because um the alcohol is is pretty demanding um but you do have a, a bit of smokiness that's just just tells you hey here's the smokiness like a a very very slightly smoked um ham i always always compare it with ham but it's the best comparison with a a little bit of a that deep tones like oak, slightly bit of a uh, bitter note, but also the, the beginning you have the fresh tones and combined with the smoke. And there's a lot of stuff in there. There's a bit of a licorice in there. It's a it's a complex one, I would say. It's a it's one of these whiskies where you can sit down and have glasses and wonder and argue about the taste and then have another glass and, and do that for hours and you will you will still find something something new after after enough time has passed yeah thank you very much for watching if you found this video interesting then please feel free to share it with your friends and see you next time